see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, this is okay. Gross. Hello. I am making a whole roasted chicken today. I like to make this at the beginning of the week because it serves as our lunch for a few days. And it's really easy. You just pop it in the oven and it's good to go. So the recipe that I'm following asks for just uh, potatoes and onions, but because I'm making it for our lunches, I wanna make sure we get extra vegetables. So I'm gonna be adding celery, cauliflower, baby carrots, and some sweet potatoes. Here I have my four celery. So I like to cut them on the thinner side. I don't like them too chunky. And I like to cut the ends off. Be careful with those fingers. All right, so that's your celery. We're gonna put this aside. And we're gonna end up mixing all of the vegetables. Next, we're going to cut our um, cauliflower head. I like to shave off a little bit of the browning that sometimes they come with. So everybody cuts their cauliflower different. I kind of just like to cut my stem out. And of course, you just gotta be very careful. Okay. So with our stem gone, I'm going to just chop up our cauliflower. Just as small um, bite sizes, I think we kind of want it like this size. I like to stick the head of the cauliflower into boiling water for about maybe 10 minutes. It's a lot easier to cut that way. And I like to keep the stem on. have two sweet potatoes. I like to just peel a little sporadic. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off and chop it up. And then here are my sweet potatoes. I love baby carrots, so I feel like there's never enough. <laughs> so let's go ahead and clean these up. So I don't like the way these look, so I just like to kind of cut them off. But I'm just gonna cut them in half. And I'm just doing it at an angle. That's just because that's how I like my carrots to be cut. I don't know if I ever grew up enjoying cooking, to be honest. Um, I don't think it was until later on, seven years ago or so. I think that's when I really liked to start venturing out on different types of foods and um, eating like whole foods. So I'm gonna put these to the side. And this is my cast iron skillet. It's wanting me to drizzle olive oil, but I'm using the avocado oil, so I'm going to like that instead. So I'm going to lay down the potatoes. Especially because celery tends to cook fairly quickly. I want that on the top. Here is my skillet full of vegetables. I'm going to add in the seasoning. So this is one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and then half a teaspoon of papaya seeds. It's a great substitute for uh, pepper. So I'm just going to drizzle. I forgot to mention it that this recipe also asks for one fourth of a cup of lemon juice with lemons or uh, limes limes are the green ones lemons are the yellow ones is I just like to kind of roll it just to get the juices flowing <laughs> 
So then I'm going to cut in the middle. And then we're gonna juice that up. Okay, the next step is going to be to add in our chicken. going to use this four to five pound whole chicken. Um, I'm wearing gloves. This recipe is asking for us to cut the backbone of it. I've never done it before, so I'm not sure how messy it's going to get. So I, as you can see, I kind of just cut a hole here to drain some of the liquid in here, some of the blood. Okay. So we're going to take the chicken out. Really didn't get a hold of the chicken blood. The organs, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna do this together. <laughs> so, this is the backbone of the chicken. So, if it's a little gruesome for you, don't watch. I've never done this before, so um, we'll see how it goes. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a vegetarian after this. Here's the neck, and a lot of people like to eat the neck. My uh, mom in particular, <laughs> she likes, so a lot of people do eat it, but we're gonna want to cut a line uh, straight down and remove the spine, uh, the spine. So, here we go. And you can feel it, so I guess, you know, that definitely helps. Um, I don't normally do this. Let's, maybe this is a new way to do it. This is low key gross. Can you even imagine us having to do this like back in the day? Okay, I'm gonna go from this side. <laughs> so, my parents grew up in Mexico in a very small town. Not even a town, to be honest, it's like a ranch. And whereas in Spanish, un rancho. And my mom, um, you know, this is at a time where they didn't even have electricity or, you know, they just have dirt roads. So I'm pretty sure my mom had to do this. So let's see. I'm gonna take a guess on. Perfect. So there it is. <laughs> Sorry for those of you who I think this is gross. It's definitely unusual. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to rinse and pack dry. So let's go do that. All right, so now that I have had it dry, I'm going to um, get my vegetables ready. So then that way we can put it in the oven. And that's all. Okay, so here it is. This is what it's looking like. Um, so I went ahead and I set the oven, like I said, at 450, I preheated it. So it's ready to go. We're gonna put this in for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. All right, here it is. I just checked the temp, so the temp is right where it should be. The recipe just says to cover it little funky right here. Um, it says to cover it for about 15 minutes so it can rest. But there it is. So excited. Okay, so I've covered it with foil. We're gonna keep it covered for about 10 to 15 minutes and let it rest. Thank you for watching my cooking video. I'm excited to continue to make videos on our favorite meals and try new recipes. I'll leave the link below for the recipe that I use as inspiration. And if you happen to make this meal, take a photo and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see how yours turns out and leave a comment below on what your go-to recipe is. And until next time, take care of yourself.